everybody and welcome on today's video today I have a fun little project that I started well almost a year ago it's three little field maples in a pot and as you see it's kind of messy because uh, I planted them in uh, the pot but I buried them up to here in soil now these are all root over rocks uh, plantings and uh, it's in quite small pots because I have a whole lot of these pots and I don't know what to do with them. So um, I'm very curious about how they look now. So I'm going to unwrap this, uh, comb the roots out and then see what's going on, what I can do. Maybe if I should wire some of these things. And uh, well, yeah, it's going to be a surprise. So as I just said, there's three of them. So let's start with this one. I'm going to put him on a... Uh, concrete block here well the first thing that I see is that I have a whole lot of roots coming out of the pot which was not really the plan but okay that's what happened um, now I'm not sure that these uh, roots are from the the tree itself but it seems to so Okay, and now we are at the part where it gets interesting. So you can see that I wired the trees onto the rock with some raffia. And now comes the surprise. Let's get the aluminum foil off and see how it did. Okay, going to get this slowly out of the pot. So the idea was that all the new roots would grow in the pot. Which, well, they kind of did. And we have a whole lot of uh, moss here. Strangely, the, the roots went out of the pot, so that's a complete surprise. So I'm going to comb this out, remove the sphagnum moss. It's not sphagnum moss, it's just moss. So I don't throw away my dead moss, I keep it and I use it for little things like that so it serves a purpose now these are good roots and this tree is not really clinging to the rock but it's starting to so let's just clean this up a little more okay and I'm going to do a small root prune now, or maybe not, I don't know. Maybe I should wash it and see what are roots and what is moss, because it's getting a little confusing. So let's do that. Okay, so this is how it looks. I like it. It's, it's really nice. Um, little tree, and it's uh, already very well wrapped around the rock so I'm going to wrap it uh, some more of course so therefore I have a piece of raffia here <coughs> I always liked uh, rock plantings it immediately gives a very strong natural feel to to everything so there is a good root here 
And I'm not sure what the front of the tree should be. I, I, I guess something like that. And of course I choose the rock with, um, with care, I should say, because I, I searched a rock that fits the, the shape of, of the trunk that I have. And so I will wrap this around again. like so and there's a nice root in the back too and I don't think that these uh, trees had any roots at this height so yeah I think that's the, the tree earlier itself a little bit So I'm guiding it completely towards the lowest part of the rock. I might try to push this a little more here, but it's going to look too close. There's a little gap here, I don't know if you can see it, but of course when the, when the tree grows, well, it will cling to the rock. And I'm going to finish this off with a knot. Like so. I remove the remaining raffia. And I think that's a nice little tree. So I should do maybe a little root work here. Just Get all these roots together and cut back here so that it's distributed evenly. So if I put the tree like this, you can see a whole lot of the rock. Like this, it's also interesting, but then I should wire the tree a little bit in this direction, which is not a problem. So I'll probably do that because there you have the, the nice shape of the the biggest root, you have some roots here, you have a root that will thicken here. And yeah, well, I'm just going to put that back in the, in the pot here. Oh, my drainage screen moved, so I need to take care of that, like so. A little substrate in the bottom. And I'm going to plant this tree, just like this, get all the roots tucked in, add a little soil, it's the same soil that it was growing in, so there could be some sphagnum moss in, but that's not a problem. Like so, now I must be sure about this front. Well, I like it like this. Maybe I'll try to tie it a little more like so. But I have a good branch distribution that could be in interesting from here. So let me see, one second. Yeah, I like, I like this as a front. Okay, so let's keep it that way. Hop, 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 tuck it in. That's good. And that's one. So two more to go. And I'll get my wire in a few minutes and I'll wire them all together next. Okay, so that's another one. That one did not make a whole lot of roots out of the thin foil so I hope that there are roots inside it the plan was never to get the tree out of the out of the pot but 
okay it grew well and it had a wire so yeah wire was biting in well that means that the tree grew but oh my god what did i do here oh this wire is completely around well 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 so no i i have to get this completely out and okay very oh yeah this one i remember i planted it in almost pure sand to see what it does so here again i think i will have to wash this to have a good look this is almost pure uh, yellow construction sand So okay, quite a lot of roots, but are these just roots or is this also moss? It's probably both, so I will also have to clean this. And here I have a wire around the rock, so I'll have to move that wire. Here, here I have a nice root, I think, that is clinging to the rock. So that might be a nice little tree too. Okay, let's clean this up and then find a front. Okay, so it has one big root and a small root here, which will probably get bigger. And this big root is clinging very nicely onto this rock. So this is, this is very, very nice. I will just cut back this portion and get the tree back in the pot and I'm going to mix some of the soil of the other tree so that it's not pure sand anymore well it did well in the sand and maybe mount this like so. I think that this is a nice front. This is raffia. <coughs> and I'm going to try to put all the roots in and, well, facing downwards. Because, well, that's important in this stage. And then fill this up like so. But here I have to also remove that wire because that's going to be a disaster if I do not take care of that. Okay. So, so I will cut this wire. I think it's a it's a piece of copper wire. Oh, I can I can undo it like this. And the tree's starting to cling to the rock. So that's a that's a really good thing. That's a success for for one growing season so that's a really nice little tree and the raffia that was protecting the bark did quite a good job because there's almost no marks well I think I don't have my glasses so I'm not completely sure Well, maybe just ever so slightly, but uh, it's it's really nice. So this tree, <coughs> I don't know if it's completely on on camera. It's up to here. Yeah, you can just see it. It probably is going to need a little wire here to open this up. But then I think if I want to use this branch, well. 
I don't know, I can do with just this branch, so it adds a whole lot of taper. I think I'm going to do that. So I'll remove the back stuff, like so, and I'll clean this up with my scissors. It works just fine, if the branch is not too thick, of course. Like so. <coughs> and it has a little bit of movement by itself. So that's a nice little tree. And because these field maples, oh, they grow like crazy. So probably next year might get very, very interesting. So I'm just going to clean up a little bit of the soil here. like so and then the last one uh, that was a bigger one roots everywhere so i guess i'm going to have to take it out of the pot well i'm not going to complain that there are a whole lot of roots because we like roots yeah That's the tin foil coming off. Ah, that's a nice rock. Okay, so same. Lots of sand. Wasn't attached with wire, I see. Or was it? No, that's the root. Okay. That's a beautiful rock. I did that on an evening that I was, well, doing nothing in winter and Sometimes I have that, that I say, oh man, in winter nothing is going on in, in the bonsai world. And I get bored and then I say, okay, let's get some of these seedlings out of the, the ground and do something fun. And also, I, I don't think that I can handle that much trees. So I'm maybe planning to give these away. If someone wants a nice field of maple on a rock and you don't live too far away, well, you can pick up one of these trees. But I'm not going to send them to, uh, you know, that's not just not, not possible. So this one grew really nice, whole lot of roots. So I'm also going to wash these roots and then I'll be back. And I think I'm going to need a piece of raffia because the raffia here is gone. So let's do the washing. So I used a little clamp just to um, Keep the tree where it's supposed to be while I'm making my little raffia. Well, it's not that little. I tied three strings together. Okay. But it looks good. Now I have to keep that tree here. Okay, so 
it has to cling firmly to the rock. It has the shape of the rock, like the others. And that's nice, huh? Yeah. That's a beautiful start. And then this big root that follows the contours of the rock. I'm not sure that I'm going to need these roots, but I'll try to press them against the rock. And then with every turn that I make, I'm going to arrange the roots. So that they have an interesting position on the rock. Here this rock should come as close as possible to this spot. So I'm going to go in between. It's always such a difficult thing. Oh man, the raffia snapped, so now I have to fix this with one hand. That's really not going to help, but find a solution, no worries. That's with this natural raffia and rocks, it, that's not a good combination because it breaks. So I'm going to fix that, I hope. Okay, so back in business. Okay, under the rock, please. Yeah. Well, in the back it's also looking quite okay. I feel that this is going to be... Where are the roots now? Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Would be great to have this root. No, I, I, I think I just can get rid of this root and then use the smaller one here against the rock. So where are my scissors? Here. So I'll remove this root. It's not a whole lot. And now this little root can come here which is better because it's more flexible of course and then back to the top and we're going to make a knot maybe even try to add a little pressure here have a whole lot to make my knot here but it will work it'll work okay and just cut it off now it's a little loose but it's going to be okay so 
Well, there's two possibilities. That's a nice front, but this is also a nice front. But when I look at the branches, I think I'm going to go with this. So, let's put it up. Maybe a little more. No, no weeds and no roots. So, how about that? What do you think? I like it. It's a little bit sloppy here with the, the raffia, so I must clean this up. First of all, tucking in the roots. Okay. So the tree is now well anchored and safe. So I can now remove the remaining raffia. Parts. Oops. Like so. Okay. So for this one, I think I might use a This is really loose. This is not holding anything. So I'll, I'm going to use this piece of wire here. As a... No, it's, it's loose, it's loose, it's not good. Ah, see, uh, as a tourniquet, well, this is going to help. Yeah. Like so. Okay. So I think I'm going to take a little piece of wire, open this up, and then this is, has a nice curve, but I'm don't I don't think it I'm I need this branch here. So let's get rid of that. So this one will be the new leader. I'm not going to chop the top and I'm going to get some pieces of wire. Okay. So these are all leftovers. And I don't need big pieces because I just want to give a beginning of a um, of a shape. So I, I will have to anchor the wire here around the trunk. And just get over here. And if you can bend your branch while wiring, that really helps. So that's all. I'm not going to go over there. And there are a few leaves trapped, but since it's autumn now, they will come off anyway. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to cut that wire. And here I now have the possibility to try to get this straight or work this way or work that way. 
so I don't know, but the possibilities exist. Well, I kind of like it. Okay, so that's that's one done. Now this one, of course. Well, nah, don't think that I I need to wire that. Well, I could do something like that, just to don't have a straight spot here. So I'm going to wire this very loosely. This way, and then this way, and then this way. So, slightly overdoing it. So that it has a little movement. Okay. Now this one is also nice. It might require a little more wire. A little bigger piece. I don't think that I have a whole lot of good wires here, but I'll try to double or triple my wire so that I can also wire a few branches here. Or at least the top one. But then I have to get rid of that stump here which might be a stupid idea in this season, so I'm not going to do it. But I'll wire this one. Okay. So I can give it a little shape. going to take a bigger wire to double this one. So this is also a leftover, but I just need one bend here. So where the wire is at the back. I'm just going to follow the same direction here. Maybe I try to anchor it a little deeper between the raffia so that it's well whole. Okay. So um, up or down? The down. And down. Like so. <laughs> so this wire means business, that's obvious. is round now and now uh, we'll bend this a little bit to the front okay so you see now it's really leaning towards the viewer and now I can what should I do yeah move this up this branch Okay, and maybe in this direction, and that's going to be nice, yeah, very nice. 
Okay, I'm going to wash this all now. So to finish the video, we will do a little 360 of every tree. Of course, the big branch here in the back side needs to be cut off. And then you have to work with what comes out here. So that's one. This is the second one. It does not represent a whole lot, but it has this really nice root clinging already to the rock. And as you know, probably a field maples will they grow like crazy. So next year it's going to be very interesting. And the last one. That's the one that's got the, the big wire. This is my favorite one, I must say. Little broom here. Leaning forward. So, that's it. So I, I really mean that if you live nearby, come over here, take a tree and enjoy it. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.